What is good, Grey Gang? Me and Adam's out here today. We're going to try something a little bit different, okay? So, we have the pool pond. We know that the water is so green, it, it's kind of nasty, guys. Like, the algae is taken over. I have a UV light filter over there. I have some aqua fix or whatever it is, algae fix. I have all kinds of things that's trying to kill the algae, but it's just, it's, it's kind of not working. I don't really know what's going on. But I figured, you know what? While the pond is so dirty and you can't see anything, why not just try to fish in it? You know what I mean? Why not? I guess. It can't hurt, can it? I mean, we got crappie in here. We got a couple bass that, well, we think we have bass. We don't really know. We caught a turtle in here not too long ago, so they may be dead. We don't really know. But we know there's at least one bass and some bluegill. So, we're just going to throw a couple casts in here. Got a little spinning rod right there. Very small. We don't need very uh, heavy pound tests since there's not a lot of cover in there for these fish to get wrapped up in. And we're going to be using the mystery tackle box. Whatever we pull out of here, hopefully, is going to be something we can use in here. I'm looking for something subtle. I don't think a crankbait's a great idea in a pull pond. We just want something small. Hopefully a little soft plastic. Well, oh, no world. What is that? I don't know. I think the chickens just ran into the wall. But anyway, let's go ahead and crack it open. This is June's box. First thing we're going to pull out is the exact thing I said we didn't want to use. A crankbait. Imagine us reeling a square bill through here and it get caught in the side or a something swipe at it and run it into the side and then poke a hole in it. Then we don't have a pull pond anymore. So we're going to set that over to the side. Probably not going to use that. We have this giant swim bait. That may be a good idea, especially for the big bass. We'll set that right here. That's a possibility. Then we have some half ounce bullet weights, five pack. Yeah, I'll be honest, guys. I don't think we need half ounce. We're not really fishing much depth here. Then back in here, we have a little jig. Probably not going to use a jig. I only like using jigs in normal ponds. Then we have a jerk bait. It also has treble hooks. I think we'll pass on it. I mean, I think we'll pass on it. And then down here... Looks like something that actually may be exactly what we want. It's small, it's subtle, it's three and a half inches, a twilight color, so it's like, I don't know, it's like a purplish transparent, it's like a transparent purple and pink, so. I think we'll go ahead and try this and just take a real small hook. That's probably the best bait we could possibly be using out here. Now before I cast this in here, I'm gonna tell you about MTB. MTB is a subscription-based service, you know, you pay so much a month and they send you a box with different fishing baits every month. The baits usually reflect the season, so in winter, they're not gonna send you something that you're supposed to use in summer. If you want one for yourself, be sure to use promo code GREGAN. It'll get you a pretty good discount on your first box. And if you really want one, use the link down in the description. Too. It'll take you exactly where you need to go. But anyways, here we go. I ain't got a single clue how this is gonna work. Oh, it floats. <laughs> we need them bullet sinkers. I'm just gonna switch it around here. There's one bass in here. He's like three, three, three pounds. Probably not three pounds. But yeah, this is kind of weird. This is, I forgot that since this was a Z-Man elastic thing, they float. If it would sink, it'd be perfect. I'm just going to swim it around the pond like it's dying or something. This may not work, guys. There is, like, kind of only one bass in here. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't think the bass is going to work either. We're actually going to take this off. Since we're using a very small hook, it can actually be used for bluegill as well. So now I'm going to go find a worm out there and just try to pitch it in here around the rock and stuff to see if a bluegill or just any small fish will bite it. So let's go find a worm and then we'll go, I don't know, fish with it. We got even one worm. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. I'd say one worm's all we really need. He just died and split in half. What's his deal? Did he really just play me like that? He just split in half. Me barely even holding him. Told you, dude. Don't tell me. Well, I guess I'm Don't wrong. Don't tell me I can't. That's the bass that we never saw, too. What in the world? Oh, God. I guess I guess I was wrong. <laughs> what in the world? What in the world, dude? <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah, he is wrong. It's fighting you good too. Yeah, yeah. That's the bass that we thought we didn't have. Let me land here. That's the spotted it bass is. that we thought died. Oh my gosh! Did you? <laughs> oh my gosh! Why wouldn't he eat the? Why wouldn't he eat the MTB thing? I don't know. I think this guy's really used to. It worms and stuff falling over there from the bug zapper and he's just used to things falling in huh worms falling from the bug zapper yeah, i mean bugs <laughs> worm sized bait worm sized food i don't know he's pinned really good oh gosh that's funny i did not expect that i'll be honest i know you didn't we got a we got a solid he ain't skinny either no he's not he's pretty fat pretty chunky probably because he's oh man that's pretty cool Wow. Two bass. What do you think about that? Now we know there's two bass because we know the big ones in here. I'm just going to drop this worm in here again. 
I was really just trying to get a bluegill. Turns out we got a bass. I ain't gonna complain though. Take anything we can get. We can get a bluegill, a bass, crappie, we'll take it. Crawl that, I don't know. I was afraid he was gonna knock over the bug zapper. How'd he get oh, him in? Oh gosh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. And then he'd really be dead. We'll see if we can pour anything out of the corner. Your battery's about to die. Ooh, got a box. Right there by that center block. Okay, guys, we're actually sitting in the middle of the pond right now. It's me and uh, Dwayne, I think. Dwayne or Shelby? It's one of the two, whichever one you prefer. Now, we're going to be using the same things that I opened up in the mystery tackle box earlier in the video, but I think right now what I'm going to start off with is just this little minnow bait. It's a little jerk bait. Just jerk it around a little bit, see what we can do. It is the middle of summer, and most people don't use a jerk bait. But I don't know. I like them. I think they'll do really good, and I'm about to show you they'll do really I somehow cut my thumb wide open the other day, and I do not remember it at all, but it hurts really bad now, and it's kind of deep, and I never remember doing it, and it was a, it's a big cut too. I remember the day, because I was playing with my knife, and then I just looked down, and there it was. It never really bled either. Got him? Is he good? Eh, he's pretty good. That's good enough. Ooh, what's his name, George? We're gonna head right over there in that corner. We saw a sneaking massive one just blowing up on minnows over there. Ambush them in the corner. We think we can probably slide over there. Cast in one time and get him. Here we go. Let's see see if this cast will get him. Is this cast the one that we're looking for? Is this cast the one that'll bring in the big one? Even though he wants to stay home. Is this cast the one of the century? Is this cast? I guess it ain't. Never mind. Okay, whatever. I will take working in the air conditioning. There he is. Ooh, right there on the little Z-Man thingy. Little top water worm looking outfit. Oh my goodness, hooked him right in the bottom. Ooh, ah, ah. It's hard to grab these fish where I cut myself on. Ah. It's right there on my thumb, bro, it hurt. I don't even know how to, I don't want to use my thumb. There we go. His name was Tim. He's real smart, man. Tim, he's been to multiple universities. He has more degrees than a thermometer. He's just on top of it, man. He's got his life together. Okay, let's go. Forward, march. We need to throw a few casts right there where they was busting first. Oh yeah, they go, there they go. They're doing it again. See if you can get them. I'll be your trolling motor. I don't know what it was. Could be a crappie, could be. I don't see what they're eating. <laughs> oh, 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 that is a bass. That's a bass? What are they doing out here in the middle? We're fishing out here in the middle. They're just out here having a good time. Yeah, they're just out here blowing up on random stuff. They're schooling out here in this pond. Do you have shad in here? I don't think so. I don't know what kind of bait fish they could be schooling out here on the middle for, but I don't know. I was just working this thing on top around where they's busting it. There he is. He's not a macho. He may not even be a bass. He's not. He's a bluegill. No, no. I will not accept this. No. Go back. Go back. They're out in the middle. Maybe we should turn around. I believe I may get one right here. Perfect spot, perfect bait. There he is. <laughs> oh, he's not bad. I'm just kidding, he's pretty bad. They're busting and we don't really know what they're busting on. That's the weird part. Like we don't see any bait fish. We're really structured, but they're just out here. Ow. There goes Tim. Or was the other one Tim? Are they both Tim? Consider yourself caught. There he is. Oh yeah, he's taking a little bit of drag. Oh man. Is he big or just fighting like he's big? He's decent. He's, he's probably the biggest one so far. Yeah, he ain't bad. He's fighting really good. Oh my goodness. Come on, man, you ain't gonna get me wet. Chill, chill. There you go. We'll name him Tim. You think that whenever I knock all your trees down with the tractor. Hmm. We have a gymnast bass. The most athletic kind. Popular in small ponds and large lakes. I'd give it an eight. Average jump score, seven and a half. Pretty good. Good jump. We'll name him Tim. If you enjoyed, go down, hit that like button, subscribe for more 
Turn on the notification bell. Go cop some merch. Hashtag Jesus. Hashtag Greg. If you like this video and you want to support the Grey Gang, go on over to kindlegray1.com shop and subscribe to be part of the Grey Gang.